Hello everybody, my name is Aaron and today I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial that will explain how to flash any Samsung phone and you won't have to use your brain once. You're welcome. Why am I doing this? I recently had a wife. No, I'm just kidding. I still have it. Her. She here? I recently had to flash the firmware on my wife's phone so she could get over-the-air updates and it was a freaking nightmare. Took me about four hours to get the whole thing figured out and done. I hit literally every obstacle you can hit. That's why I'm making this video so that I can show you how to overcome everything. All links for everything we're about to do is in the description down below. Hit it up. So first off right away, what you want to do is hunt down your model number. I know what you're thinking. Oh, I have a Galaxy S9 Plus, so I have a an A8. So I, that's not, no, that's not what we're getting at here. Go to your phone settings and then the about spot and you're going to see a model number, an SM something, something, something model number. My model number is SMG965W. We have the model number. Now we are going to talk about regions because you're going to need to know them soon. I have linked a website that shows you all the regions that are coded for Samsung phones. Now, this is kind of easy. You just keep scrolling till you find your country and carrier. Then you write down what the three digit code is for your area. The main reason why you have to do this CSC region code thing is because you want to get over the air updates. It's freaking annoying having to manually update all the time. You'll have to do this procedure every single time. It's a nightmare. So just do it right the first time. It'll save you a ton of time and effort in the future. We have to find the three digit code that corresponds to your phone. Now, the US and Canada each have their own region free code. It's XAA for the US and it's XAC for Canada. I am in Canada. The tutorial that I'm going through right now is gonna show you Canadian firmwares and all that. Okay, you don't have to freak out because I'm in Canada. It's the same thing. It's just a different code. That's it. Code I used for my wife was XAC. The code on my phone is a BMC, and I'll be referencing that later. BMC is Bell Mobility. Now that we know the model number, now that we know the CSC, we gotta get the firmware. So we go to Sam Mobile. This site is a freaking joke, but it's the easiest way to get a firmware, okay? This site, Sam Mobile, click the Browse Firmware Archive, then you wanna head on over to My Model Number. Start typing. It's gonna wanna autofill for you, that's great. Just put in the model number, the SM dash whatever it is. Mine shows up right there in autofill and there's a W at the bottom. I use the G965U on my wife's phone because it has less bloatware with it, but whatever, just use what yours is, it's fine. You'll get a list. Once again, you're looking at Canadian here. Mine is Bell. So I would click on the top one and I'm gonna use that for the example for this, okay? So I click on Bell Mobility. It would bring me to this page and this is just on the left side of the page and you wanna click the join to download button. Now this is where this site gets smutty, super smutty. It will purposely throw a time wall in front of you and that time wall will never end. You'll click the tired of waiting button and it will bring you to this next page where they wanna sell you something. You don't have to buy anything. Like I said at the beginning, it's all free. So click on the default free member, hit join, put in your email address and everything, then go back and find the firmware again and then hit download it will actually download it'll be slower it's not going to like blaze through the four gig download it's probably going to take a couple hours they do it on purpose so that you'll have to pay more whatever you don't care you're doing this right before you go to bed let it download overnight not a big deal on the same download page on the right side there's instructions you can follow these instructions but there's a few things that these instructions don't cover and that's what held me up for three freaking hours so now that we got the firmware downloaded i am opening it up now i'm using winrar that's why it looks like a bunch of books with a belt around it but windows will unzip it so either way it's a dot zip so it's fine all i'm doing here is dragging and dropping outside of the zip into the folder that everything's located in and when it's done It'll look like that, okay? Five files, and we are good. Next, what you wanna do is go find yourself Odin. Odin is the program we're going to be using to flash your phone. Now, here's the kicker. There's two types of Odins. There's the normal Odin, and then there's the patched Odin. If you are changing regions, you have to use the patched Odin. It will not push a firmware flash to a Samsung phone from original Odin if you are in a different region. It does that so that people can't buy and sell phones across the world and screw Samsung out of a bunch of sales. So you have to get patched Odin. 
grab it from this address links in the description obviously everything's in the description okay all right so now you got to download it install it and we're going to open up odin now what we have to do is populate odin with the files that you pulled out of the firmware this is easy stuff okay look at that the beginning the bl ap cp it just goes right across you just click bl button and click the bl file you extracted all the way down the only kicker is the home and the csc file okay so home csc means that it will keep all of your personal information on the phone now a asterisk i don't know if it's gonna wipe out you know some contacts or whatever but the idea is that it keeps all all the information everything on the phone so i'd recommend a backup before you try any of this to back up your phone you can use google to sync because you've already you're running an android phone so google's already syncing itself in the background with contacts and whatnot you can use google photos which is where it'll pull all your photos and push it up to the cloud back into your gmail account and you'll it'll store your photos for you the other way to do it is this website that i've linked and it shows you step by step of how to back up your phone as well if that's not applying to you and you want to do a clean wipe then you go csc that bottom file you do not use home if you want to clean wipe i clean wiped my wife's phone best decision ever especially because i downloaded the u firmware which had like no bloatware in it it was great so populate odin with the files that you downloaded and pulled out of the firmware now what we got to do is reboot your phone to get into download mode so how to do that is not the same on every samsung so just quickly google it it's not a big thing okay they look at that there's a whole list of samsung phones there they're, they're going to have their phone and they're going to show you how to get into a download mode on the s9 plus it was volume down bixby and power button at the same time you just follow what they tell you and you'll get the thing to boot this is what looks like it's got a bunch of jargon on the top at least that's what mine was green page with an arrow down this is not plugged into anything now at the top of mine it says fun things like fuse blown provisioned samsung official frp locked warranty void but who cares none of it means anything fuse is apparently blown whatever i still was able to flash this is my wife's phone i was still able to flash what happens next is the most important plug the phone into the computer you want to make sure that you're plugging this thing directly into your computer do not plug it into a keyboard with a usb port or a monitor with a usb port or a usb hub or some other device it's got to go directly into the computer if you don't do that it's going to cause problems directly into the computer or laptop that you're using and then we can hit start on odin so this is where i got hung up for like an hour so it didn't matter how many times i ran the freaking flash it would fail and it would fail hard hard and miserable and it was driving me nuts i ended up stumbling upon this post when you're booted into the download mode you would then press the volume down and it would restart the phone and you'd volume down bixby and power button at the same time and get back into download mode so essentially you're doing download mode twice why is that necessary i don't know i didn't invent samsung if your flash fails like this it might not just be that you need to reboot the phone it might be that your usb port is bad i had to move my usb port over sometimes internal usb ports on computers are run by different chips so if you move it over to the usb port on the other side of your computer or laptop it may just work it may be the USB port. You're gonna have to consider that. What that did for me, I got a successful flash. So I had to reboot the phone when it was in download mode, back into download mode, successful flash. Took four minutes and 11 seconds to push, which seems like forever when you're waiting for that thing to flash, let me tell you. And there it is, completely flashed, ready to go, and it will be getting over the air updates. Whew, we did it ladies and gentlemen so i hope yours goes more swimmingly than mine did my biggest problem was hunting down the firmware my other problem was that reboot situation if you just follow what i'm saying you'll be fine i do deep dives like this quite a bit not always on a cell phone my last one was me finding an alienware laptop in a free bin on the side of the road that is quite the story go check it out thank you all for watching if you want to see more tech stuff make sure you hit up the channel subscribe touch my bell, and I will see you on the next one. That rhymed, didn't it? Did that rhyme? I feel, I feel like I'm not getting the credit I deserve. Like that was poetic.